So it looks like that Josh Harris has reclaimed the top spot in the Washington bidders race to see who comes out on top for this sale of the Washington Commanders. Josh Bit, uh, Josh Harris, rather, <laughs> he has gotten a very strong partner with him. This partner, billionaire Mitchell Rails, joins Josh Harris to bid to buy the Commanders. Now, Mitchell Harris is a local guy to the uh, D.C. Um, DMV area. Um, as we read, he is the co-founder of the Dunhar Corp. Um, he joins Josh Harris led bid by the Washington Commanders from Daniel Snyder, a person with knowledge of this. The deliberation said on Thursday, um, the addition of Rails, whose net worth, according to Forbes, estimates around 5.6 billion, strengthens the group's bid in multiple ways. As Snyder considers the possible sell, Rail's net worth places him among D.C.'s area's richest billionaires. His participation not only adds to the Harris Group's financial heft, heft but also adds a strong local tie, which is, I think is extremely important for this uh, team, um, that would be an asset to a new ownership group. I, I certainly believe that. While... He keeps a low a public profile. Rails is known is a well known in business circles for co-founding DC-based Dunhar Corp, a Fortune 500 company. He is also well known in the art world as a collector of modern and contemporary art, which is displayed at the Glenstone, a private art museum. He founded on the 230-acre expanse in Potomac. Um, Curated by his wife and art historian Emily, uh, how you pronounce that? We uh, we <laughs> we rails. I am horrible with names, folks. Do you do you know that by now? Um, so there you have it. It looks like that the Harris Group is really strengthened themselves and put themselves back in that top position now. As of right now, Bezos has still not put in a bid for the commanders. So it remains to be seen if he even does it. You know, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he swoops in at the very last second. And you know how they did it on the uh, prices right where you got all the bidders there. And, uh, you know, the last person either, you know, if the bids are like, you know, $8 and uh, this bid is seven fifty, and this bid is, you know, eight oh one. <laughs> Maybe he swoops in, and whatever the the Harris organization bids, you know, it, it, he's going to bid seven billion seven billion dollars. Maybe Bezos comes in and bids seven point one. I don't know, but anyway, this is a strong thing, and and I think you know Snyder. If he's not willing to sell to Bezos, he's probably more than willing to, to sell to Harris. And this, to me, I feel more comfortable selling to someone like Harris than I would Bezos, honestly. Um, I, I just, you know, Harris has more experience running sports franchises. Now, you can argue, well, has those sports franchises been successful? You can argue that point, but... Point is, at least he has been involved with it. Now, Bezos is an excellent business owner, obviously. He's the richest man in the world. But how successful would he be owning an NFL franchise remains to be seen. Certainly, he can write the checks for the franchise and for a stadium all in the same day. And he probably has the political ties needed to build a stadium back at the old, old RFK site. But case in point, I think as well with this group here, the Harris Rails group, 
with Rails being a local guy, I think there's also ties there that could really help that group to bring a stadium back to the old RFK site. So I don't think that that's out of the possibility if Bezos doesn't get the team. And honestly, I think that's something that mostly all Washington fans really want is, you know, tradition to have the team back at the old RFK site. You know, we equate that to the glory years, right? And so, you know, we feel like if we can get the team back in D.C., that's a progress in the right direction. And I think that D.C., well, I think that any of the areas that they may consider building a new stadium will work with new ownership right there from the get-go. Nobody's going to work with Daniel Snyder at this point. So there you have it. Josh Harris, I think this is going to get done pretty quickly at this point. I think Harris just needed somebody, and he, he got, I think, one of the, the best ones, a local billionaire has got ties to the area. I think that is great news, and I think that builds a a solid foundation for this this Harris group to come in and buy the the Washington Commanders. And from what I also understand, is that the NFL expects these final bids to come in promptly. So this is this is probably not going to carry out past the owners' meeting. So. It's coming up pretty soon, folks. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, are you on board with this Harris Rails group? I am. I, I've from the get go. I felt more comfortable with Harris than I did, you know, Bezos. Obviously. Um, I know a lot of people still had their hopes up for Byron Allen. Um, that doesn't seem to be a name that is being talked about at all at this point. So it's probably going to be Harris. I, I feel like that we can just about put the ink on the paper with that. But who knows? Who knows? There's still some other strong possibilities. But I think Harris and Rails have emerged as the leading bidders at this point. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It helps the algorithm, helps me out quite a bit. Share it with your buddies. Um, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. There's other ways to help me out as well. I have an Etsy page. Check it out. It's called Envy Artwork. I design a lot of crazy artwork from AI. I designed some coffee mugs, Washington Commanders coffee mugs you won't find anywhere else. Um, I've got some garden and house banners, um, unique um, NFL banners. Uh, well, okay, they're not sponsored by the NFL. <clears throat> uh, you never know. We may be Red Wolves at some point. If we stick to the Commanders, maybe we change our logo. Maybe we're Red Hogs someday. You know, I got you covered just in case. You know, I got music shirts. I've got stuff for kids. But I've got amazing wall art that I think that you would just enjoy. I also got digital downloads of stuff too. So if you just want to, you know, purchase your digital download and then, you know, print it out yourself, you're welcome to do that. It's called Envy Artwork. Check it out. Um, I've got a lot of great stuff and add more stuff to it each week. So take care, folks. I will see you in the next one. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.